All right, everyone. Welcome back to another mode of anatomy. Wait, wait. <clears throat> Three, two, one. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another mode of anatomy. As always, we keep changing up the angle on you guys. Let me know which one works for you. I kind of wanted to, you know, give you guys a little bit of see the the same road that I'm I'm driving on. Uh, see if you guys like this angle. If you don't, if you don't. Cool. Let me know. No worries. Today I wanted to talk about something super, 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 super important, and that's called patience. Uh, and I'll share from my end uh, what I mean by that. There's been times that I lost track of the reason why I started a YouTube channel, and I got, I got, I guess, um, I got more concerned with the numbers and the views, and and kind of looking up other people's YouTube page. And seeing like, damn, they're they're you know a hundred thousand, they're two hundred, they're three hundred, they're a million, whatever. And one, I lost the, the the you know. I tend to sometimes compare myself with others, and so that's one of the very first things that I want to discuss. Once you stop this, the, comparing yourself with others, this magical thing happens. You become happier. I took that wrong turn. I'll make that wrong turn back. You become happier. Because you're not comparing yourself to other people, uh, other people achievement. What's interesting, what we fail to see is that we compare ourselves, I compare myself um, most of the time with someone who's doing better than I am. Um, and not necessarily that that's better, but at the same time is like, that's our mentality. Like we always want to look at somebody else who has a bigger channel and kind of make ourselves feel bad. Not saying that you gotta look at smaller channels and feel better because oh you know I'm better than them. They're both wrong. So what we we lack is patience. Um, for patience for a lot of different things. So for instance, I want the channel to grow. That's no secret. That's not you know I would be lying to you if I say that whenever a, a video hits 100 views, I don't get excited or stoked about it. I like that. I'm, I'm proud of what we've accomplished. Uh, I'm glad people are enjoying it because that's how you know they're, they're getting views because people, uh, low life because uh, people actually watch the video and they share it or they like the video and then it goes on I would be lying to you if I said that it didn't make me feel good that I don't that doesn't appeal to me um, at the same time though once you start thinking about numbers and that becomes your whole entire reasoning to make videos and again I've been there at this very moment, I'm not there yet, but I have been there. I think it was earlier. Um, then that becomes the problem because now you're looking at it through a different lens and that lens is telling you, you know what, if, if all of a sudden you don't get these many views, then whatever um, the channel, the, the, the video was not as successful, it doesn't take away from the video. The video is still the same video, and that's something that I want you guys to understand, and you have to have patience. For instance, Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan has so many views within one day, but like he said it himself, we didn't start like this. The very first time I did a podcast, um, freaking, I think, 150 people joined in. Now, 150 people is a lot of, a lot of people, don't get me wrong, but 150 people in his world, you know, from the with the background that he had before, then yeah, that's not a lot. And he's like, if I would have stopped, oh nobody's watching then it, it wouldn't be where it's at now so i'm not saying do not use anybody else as a as a mean or as a as a way to kind of motivate yourself but at the same time i am going to tell you this you have to have patience because everything's going to come to you when it comes to you more importantly you have to be consistent otherwise if you if there's days that you're like man i'm not getting views or these other channels just started yesterday and you know they have more subscribers than I do and you kind of give up on yourself and you talk yourself down well we know what's gonna happen if you stop making videos oh by the way just letting you know the videos that you're making if you got 500 people watching them that's 500 people that are tuning in to to your nonsense whatever that is so you owe it to them to continue making videos don't think about the 1 million subscribers that Adam LZ has compared to your 5,000 Dude, like people are tuning in for you and that's freaking cool um, and so when we lack patience 
it, it seems like the more we try, the less happy we are because if at one point you had 5,000 subscribers and you were happy about it, then you kind of forget about the number. Before that was the, the goal, right? 100, then 1,000, then 2,000. Now you reach 5,000. And we have these gold milestones. Like the, like that's the most important thing. These, these numbers and zeros and zeros at the end. It has to be an even thing. 5,000 subscribers, giveaway. Well, no, give a, do a giveaway right now at 3,852. Because 3,852 people are showing up to listen to your stuff, to watch your videos. Now, I don't expect everybody to watch all the videos that I create because, let's be real, like, yeah, it's not going to appeal to everybody at all, at all times, and that's okay. But if you're there sitting, um, one, oh, well, I, I don't know, I kind of want to start a channel, but I don't know if anybody's going to tune in. Let us decide if we're going to tune in or not. It's not up to you. You do what's fun. You do whatever is appropriate for you. And then let us decide whether we enjoy listening to your voice or we like the, the points of views that you're bringing um, or just the visuals that you're providing right and then obviously i would definitely recommend you uh once you get it started and you start seeing and come and people commenting be patient you know understand that people are coming in most people are going to come in in a nice way and say hey i think you should really improve this for instance again uh one of the main things that when uh when I started making the videos was like, dude, we need ride-alongs. And I was like, well, I feel weird asking owners like, hey, you know, can I ride shotgun in your car? And especially some cars are swapped. And I, I mean, I, I'm always sketchy about that because like, I don't want anything happening to their cars getting pulled over, the car getting messed up. Or my watch, because they're honestly, they're, they're just doing it for fun. They're doing me a favor. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. So I started. People like that. Hey man, we need rollers. <laughs> it's like, man, like, so here you go. You know, asking the owners, can I do a ride along? And then after we can we do rollers? Yeah, no problem. And I'm, I'm super glad that um, everybody has been super uh, open and allowing me to do rollers, except if the car is not working or whatever, something happened, then yes, you know. And at that point, I understand. I'm not. I'm not gonna cry about it. I'm not gonna be like, oh, that's messed up. No, dude. Um, that's more for like you guys, I guess. For me, I'm just getting to another person. That's the fun part. But I started listening to all those comments. I started applying to the videos. Uh, get a mic. We can't hear you. Can't hear you for shit. By the way, we don't care about you. We wanna hear what the guy said. That's very true. All right, cool. Then let's do that. Let's get a mic all came with time practice um now i'm at the point where i'm doing things for me i i you I, i'll definitely be honest with you guys i think i checked more times how many subscribers i had before i reached a thousand subscribers than i've done ever since then and one of them the reason why was uh, i heard gary v and again uh, another guy that uh, you guys should definitely look into if you're into entrepreneurial or just kind of creating stuff or just kind of a positive mindset he said if if you're constantly thinking about the next 50 100 people that are going to tune in you don't care about the people that are already tuning in and that's a pretty d-i-c-k move you know like what the hell man like you're so special because now all of a sudden 200 people show up and now that became the norm for you when six months ago you were freaking happy if only two people showed up and so once i heard that podcast i was like damn that's so true man like what am i doing like why am i so focused on freaking numbers um and ever since man i think it almost like helped me i'm not looking at numbers i for sure i'm not looking at other people's uh youtube pages and feeling bad about their growth um the one that I've seen grow so much has been um, Dana from up north. Evan Static, he's freaking killing it with the ES, man. And it's not like he's clickbaiting. He's just putting a lot of material out there and some good stuff. Uh, the guy freaking changes the motor swap, changes the, the motor in one video. And for me, I'm all happy because I'm going to do a video about putting on, uh, I don't know, mud flaps. So he's providing a service. He's providing information. Um, 
you know, Gears and Gasoline, fuck, man, I love their videos. And they're, they're, they keep blowing up because for that same reason, they're, the material they're bringing is, one, educational. Two, they have some of the best editing. Um, and I, I really enjoy what they're doing right now with their EK and their Miata. But if I started thinking, oh, man, Gears and Gasoline keeps blowing up. Uh, how come I'm not blowing up like that? Well, first of all, they've been at it for way longer than you have, Gus. Second of all, um, you're providing a different type of experience. You want to do the same thing, then step up your game and, and, and provide the same type of quality. And I'm sure people will tune in. Oh man, like there's more to it than just these little numbers. I'm actually enjoying the process. I'm actually getting to know different people. I'm actually making a difference. I'm actually engaging with the with other individuals. I'm actually creating a community. That's when you really start winning. That's when you really start making progress. And like I said, something magical happens that the universe or whatever knows you just start growing and growing and growing. And lastly, gratitude. Whatever you do, always be thankful. Always be thankful. If somebody took the time to look at your video and comment, obviously a positive thing, dude, don't just heart the freaking comment. Don't just say T-Y. Ask them a real question. Thank you so much. What was the favorite part that you, you enjoyed? Oh, really? Um, you know, whatever. Especially when you're a smaller channel. The channel, when it starts growing, it be becomes a little bit more difficult to respond to every single um, comment, but it's still doable. And you have, to, you have to set time for that because somebody took the time out of their precious day to look at your stuff, to comment and say, hey, man, that was a nice video, or hey, you know, props to the owner. And you're just going to heart the comment like, oh, I'm too busy to freaking respond to you and say, oh, thank you. What was your favorite part? Oh, really? What kind of car are you driving? And, oh, wow. You know, I, I didn't see that. Thank you for the suggestion. Oh, thank you for the motivation. Whatever the case may be. And so I think we like that. So patience, have more patience. Timeline, stick away from those timelines because those are just kind of going to bring you down. And third, uh, be grateful because people are taking the time out of their precious day to check out your videos when they really don't have to. And by the way, there's other channels that have way better quality um, that they could use, you know, they could spend their time on and they're choosing to, uh, to do it on your channel. That means a lot. So thank you guys so much. I appreciate, I appreciate all of you that are tuning in to this, to the watching talks, to um, the interviews, to the builders themselves. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. I really have fun. Um, Yes, I'm, I'm driving around. I never have anywhere to go. I'm just driving, you know, all these different places. One, I love driving Jackie. Two, I actually really enjoy doing these videos. Um, I've been connecting with you guys in different ways. And uh, it's been fun. It's been fun. I mean, again, do it for, for fun. Do it for fun. Just, just know that wherever you're watching from, there's a crazy dude driving his 95 Accord all over Southern California uh, talking to himself. You know how many weird looks I, I get at the stoplight? Who cares? Do what do what is best for you. And if you can help one person out of all entire, this whole entire ordeal we call life, then you may, you're, you, you've accomplished your goal. <laughs> so like always, we go for the car, we stay for the person. Thank you so much.